Welcome to the September Luxury Market Report, brought to you by MansionArizona.com. I'm your luxury real estate professional, Jeremy Pales, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at the luxury real estate market in Chandler and Gilbert, Arizona. If you'd like to download your own copy of the Luxury Market Report, head on over to MansionArizona.com slash luxury dash market dash report. The Southeast Valley single family luxury market is still a seller's market with a 27% sales ratio. Homes sold for median of 97.76% of the list price in August of 2022. The luxury benchmark price remains at $820,000. Total inventory was 265. Total sales were 72. The price band with the most sales was a three-way tie, but the highest price band was the $1.1 to $1.2 million with nine homes sold. The price band with the most inventory was $870 to $900,000 with 34 homes available. The median sales price was $1 million, up from $985,000 last year, a 2% increase. Also, the second highest median price in the last 12 months. Total inventory is up 83% compared to last year. Total sales were down 4%. And the days on market were 41 days compared to 20 last August. This report shows very little change compared to last month, affirming that the housing market in Chandler and Gilbert is normalizing. If you want to see if this trend continues and to see the awesome luxury home tours we have lined up, make sure you subscribe to the channel and select that bell icon so you're notified when a new video is released. Now, for some insights on the greater luxury market from our partners at the Institute for Luxury Home Marketing. Market changes to consider. Over the last few months, the luxury real estate market has experienced the return of a more normal pace for those looking to buy and sell their homes. Recent trends also continue to show a considerable moderation in the number of sales and the rate of price increases, which has certainly taken the pressure off the market. While it is contended that we are moving toward a buyer's market, the current data for September of 2022 shows that conditions in most luxury markets are still favorable for sellers. Of the 140 single family markets showcased in our report, 106 remain sellers markets. However, the sales ratio percentage, which measures the rate of sales against available inventory each month, is trending downward in most markets month over month in comparison to 2021 levels. Whether the overall luxury real estate market moves toward a balanced or buyer's market will likely depend on changes in inventory levels and whether the available homes match buyer's demand. Even at the height of the buyer frenzy in spring 2021, homes that were considerably overpriced or needed extensive renovations or repairs often remained unsold. Demand for move-in ready properties remains a top priority for affluent buyers who have little time or desire to embark on any more than simple updating projects. As we highlighted last month, properties that are fully furnished down to kitchen utensils, dishware, and all of the soft furnishings are highly prized often seeing some of the shortest days on market. The level of inventory may have risen since May 2022, and now approximately 50% higher for single family homes and 18% for attached properties compared to September 2021. But of greater significance is the number of new listings entering the market has continued to drop since June 2022. Expectations are that these numbers will rise as we enter the fall season but it seems that some luxury sellers are hesitant to enter the current market. The drop in new listings might be explained as, traditionally summer months do see fewer homes enter the market as families take time to vacation. However, according to Danielle Hale, chief economist at Realtor.com, even though home prices are near record highs and home equity is soared, homeowners appear to be less eager to list homes for sale compared to last year. Recent survey data shows that while home sellers are in a good position, typically getting their list price and still generally satisfied with the price and other aspects of the home sale, some of their seller markers have shifted over the last year. Sellers are facing several problems, including appraisals not matching the value of their asking price and the return of contract contingencies such as requests for repairs or compensation. In the last year, especially, these were not included in buyer contracts because multiple offers and cash buyers mitigated these sorts of requests. It seems that some sellers are not quite ready to contend with the return of negotiating terms or depending on their level of wealth, simply do not need to sell. So they are ready to wait until the market becomes more favorable. Equally, 
After two long years of unrest and upheaval, many affluent are content with their purchases and now looking for more stability and continuity. So expectations are that they might not be ready to sell anytime soon. If these affluent purchased using a fixed term low interest rate mortgage, it's also unlikely they would trade in these favorable terms if they do not have to sell or move unless a life changing event occurs. If we are returning to a more traditional real estate cycle, then over the next couple of months, inventory levels should start to increase again. And we may see more luxury markets become balanced or buyer's markets. As we move into the fall season, we review both new opportunities and trends that homeowners and investors should consider during their property search. A return to urban living. An increasing number of buyers are starting to return to larger metropolitan cities for multiple reasons, including simply missing the lifestyle or looking for a potential investment opportunity. This door may close soon, as also in the mix are foreign investors, now that travel restrictions are easing, and first-time buyers heading to urban markets looking for the opportunity to purchase property. Experts predict that city markets may see stronger returns on investment than their suburban counterparts. Emerging city neighborhoods. While cities are starting to experience an influx of new and returning buyers, some of the best deals may be found in emerging neighborhoods. Before the pandemic, many of these inner mid-city communities, industrial areas have been on trend for gentrification. Cities from Vancouver and Toronto and Canada to Atlanta, Austin, Chicago, and San Francisco in the US saw their emerging neighborhoods stall in 2020 as people chose to purchase away from more crowded metropolitan communities. Today, emerging neighborhoods not only afford buyers better value, but have the potential to create greater equity returns. These are ideal for buyers ready to invest in a property for the long term, understanding that they are buying early and will need to wait for the neighborhood to evolve and mature. New Priorities As we enter the latter part of 2022, Mainly due to the historic rise in property values over the last 24 months, many affluent are now starting to reprioritize with a keen eye on market stability and potential returns. Which trends will see a better investment return? Larger estate-sized homes, properties with views, those located on expansive land, or small homes closer to amenities are questions being asked of our luxury real estate professionals. The answer may lie in reviewing the sales data for the last six months, which reveals that luxury mid-sized homes ranging from 3,000 to 3,500 square feet are proving to be in the greatest demand for single-family homes and 1,500 to 2,000 square foot for attached properties. While people want extra space, they do not want to be overwhelmed with larger debt, especially as interest rates continue to rise. Equally, land and privacy are still important. But as things return to normal, the shift back to living closer to amenities and locations closer to work are becoming the main priority once more. Time to diversify. Now that remote working is mainstream, there is still an increased focus on investing in real estate that aligns with people's lifestyle choices. Vacation and second home properties are expected to continue to increase in popularity, especially for those who need escape options from their primary property. The affluent are continuing to seek diversity in their lifestyle, and owning multiple properties whether in city, mountains, or beach locations is an important facet in meeting that requirement. The art of buying and selling in this market needs a critical and analytical approach. Understanding the realities and setting expectations accordingly will assure that your goals are achieved. If you're thinking about buying or selling luxury real estate, reach out to us at MansionArizona.com. We'd love to offer you a free consultation and show you how we can help you live the luxury lifestyle in Arizona.